Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving the problem in two-dimensional motion. The problem is like this. The equation of a motion of a projectile is represented as x equal to 36t and 2y equal to 960 minus 9.8t square. And we need to calculate what is the angle of projection. Let us try solving this problem. To solve this problem, probably you need to remind yourself back that a body projected with an angle theta to the horizontal will take a projectile path with a velocity u making an angle theta will take a parabolic path. Its displacement along x direction can be represented as x equal to u cos theta into t because there is no gravity effect on that because the given u is resolved into components as u cos theta along x axis and u sin theta along y axis and we are using a simple equation s equal to ut plus half a t square so along the x axis in the place of u i will be writing a u cos theta there is no gravity acts along this direction Therefore, a is equal to 0. Therefore, x becomes automatically u cos theta into t. Similarly, y will become u sin theta into t, the place of u, u sin theta. a is minus g because you are throwing the body in upward direction, whereas the gravity is acting in a downward direction. So, these are the standard equations for x and y. Whereas, the given equation, say for example, x is u cos theta into t is the standard equation. That is, the given equation is 36 into t. So, comparing these two equations, it is very clear that u cos theta is nothing but 36. Similarly, 2y is given as 96 into t minus 9.8 t square. I want an equation for y, divide with the 2. 96 by 2 is nothing but equal to 48 minus 4.9 t square. Comparing this with the standard equation y equal to u sin theta into t minus half g t square, it is very clear that u sin theta is 48. Now you know the u cos theta, you know the u sin theta. Dividing these two equations, u sin theta by u cos theta is equal to 48 by 36. That is nothing but equal to 4 by 3, cancelling with 12. That implies tan theta is 4 by 3. That implies angle of projection theta. What you are calculating is this equal to tan inverse of 4 by 3, whose value can be calculated from a tangential table from a logarithm book. This is what we are supposed to calculate angle of projection. Not only this angle of projection, in fact, we can also calculate the velocity, initial velocity of the projectile itself. Say, for example, you want u, you can write u as u cos theta i cap and u sin theta j cap in the format of a vector that is 36 i cap plus 48 j cap you want the magnitude of the velocity root of 36 square plus 48 square can be further simplified and found the velocity of that projectile also that's it you can find both angular projection as well as velocity of projection thank you for watching Keep coming back for more video lessons.